the majority of the Committee on Fishing, Game, and Marine so Resources to which is referred House Bill 1412, an act relative to cruelty to non-captive wildlife. Having considered the same, report the same with a recommendation that the bill be re referred for interim study. Representative James Blaine for the majority of the committee. The minority of the committee, having considered the same, being unable to agree with the majority, report the recommendation the bill ought to pass. Representative Ellen Reed for the minority of the committee. Question for the House is on the adoption of the majority committee report of interim study. Chair recognizes the member from Durham, Representative Horrigan. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, I urge the House to overturn the interim study motion on HB 1412. This bill doesn't need to be uh, studied anymore. It's time to, time to pass this bill. So I'm the co-sponsor of the original version of the bill, and although we're not debating the amendment yet, there will be a, uh, a very good amendment coming up in a few minutes, hopefully. Um, HB 1412 deals with the subject of cruelty to non-captive wildlife. Currently, RSA 644-8 only covers cruelty to domestic animals, pets, and wildlife and activity. Um, it specifically exempts, quote, any activity authorized or been under Title um, 18, which basically means hunting, fishing, and trapping. There's other laws reg regarding pest control, agriculture, scientific research, protection of endangered species. That's not an exhaustive list. Um, currently, Cruelty to non-captive wildlife is legal, and um, under either version of the bill, it would now become a misdemeanor. Um, and this, the basic law is not new at all. For many years, cruelty to domestic animals, pets, and captive wildlife, or actually use the exact phrase, wildlife in captivity, has been punishable for many years as a Class B felony. And um, it, does, it does have a slight... Uh, and I think the uh, greater penalty for, um, for wildlife and captivity in domestic animals is justifiable because cruelty to the domestic animals is a crime of violence not just against the animals but also against their humans, caretakers, and owners. And, but then cruelty to non-captive wildlife is itself a despicable act. Um, it also, cruelty to uh, animals, both domestic or wild, is often a starter drug for violence against people too. So um, there's was some concern in the majority blurb that the difference between captive and non-captive wildlife is not clear. But this bill has been around in its present form since 1971. The meaning of the phrase wildlife in captivity is abundantly clear. And th therefore, the meaning of non-captive wildlife, wildlife not in captivity, is already clear. So please overturn the interim study um, motions so that an alternative motion can be considered. Thank you very much. Question for the House, the Adoption of the Majority Committee Report of Interim Study. The Chair recognizes the member from Deerfield, Representative Splain. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker. This is not the first time that the Fish and Game Committee has seen this bill in some form or another. This is not the first time that we have had Fish and Game come before us and say that it's just absolutely not true, that they can't charge somebody with something for harming wildlife. In fact, Fish and Game has testified to us over and over again that they have in their statutes pro prohibition against molesting wildlife, and in this term, the definition of molesting means bothering in any way. And I am certainly assured that such actions that raised to cruelty of an, a wildlife animal does bother them. In fact, Fish and Game has said that they will find a way to charge anybody who's being cruel to wildlife. There are problems with this bill. That's why it was sent to interim study. Big problems. Fish and Game has testified to us that the terminology of non-captive versus captive creates more problems for them. Because now what do they do with somebody who has fish in a live well? Those fish in a live well, are they captive or are they non-captive? Same thing happens if you happen to put a have a heart trap out and you get a raccoon and you have a heart trap, well, it's now captive. Does that mean that it doesn't fall under this anymore? The sponsor of the bill would intend that a raccoon would be non-captive wildlife and be protected, but you've now got it captured, so it's captive wildlife. Does that mean it's no longer protected? All of these questions became insurmountable in committee. We had offers for amendments from various 
people, but no amendment was actually successfully put in front of the committee. One was attempted and then withdrawn by the sponsor. Interim study is the correct direction for this if somebody wants to do anything with this, even though Fish and Game has assured us that nothing needs to be done, that they are perfectly able to prosecute somebody for creating any kind of cruelty to any wild animal. They will find a way to do it. Thank you. Question for the House Adoption Majority Committee Report of Interim Study. Chair recognizes the member from Newmarket, Representative Reed. Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Speaker. Yes, I'm sorry. Have a motion. You're recognized to make a motion. M Mr. Speaker, I want to table this motion, ta table this bill. Okay, the motion is in order. And I request a division vote. So the, the motion before you is to table House Bill 1412. And we've had a request for a division vote, so all members will please take their seats. What I was just questioning, I was pausing for a minute because I was make, we had allowed one speaker on each side to speak, so that's why I recognize the motion. So. Good. All members take their seats. All members will please take their seats. The, quest, the question before the House is on the motion to, motion to table House Bill 1412. If you're in favor of tabling, you'd be pressing the green button. If you're opposed, you'll be pressing the red button. The chair recognizes Representative Reed for a parliamentary inquiry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if I know that, yes, this bill has been heard before, but this time we actually have an amendment that has been drafted by the Fish and Game Department that answers all of the questions that we've had before, that answers all of the problems that we've had before with this bill. And if I know that this committee has heard multiple times about horrendous instances of cruelty to wildlife, some of which led to murders in our state, murders of people, and if I know that it's time to act on this, then would I press the red button so that we can finally hear this amendment that the Fish and Game Department has drafted and finally pass a bill to prevent cruelty to wildlife? Question for the House on the adoption of the motion to table House Bill 1412. Chair recognizes Representative Webb for a parliamentary inquiry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if I know that the sportsmen of New Hampshire rely on the Fish and Game Department to make sure they're, they're, the, laws are being, um, the laws are being obeyed, and if I know that in RSA 644A, cruelty to animals is against the law, as it is in many other chapters, if I also know that this bill, as written, will actually hurt the sportsmen of New Hampshire, would you now vote along, and, and if, we also, if I also know we heard this bill several times over the last year, few years, um, would you now support the work of the Fish and Game Committee and uh, vote for the ITL, please? Thank you. Table. Table. Table, sorry. Sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, vote, please. For, uh, is it the division, right? Green button for the um, motion of table. Question before the House is on the motion to table House Bill 1412. If you're in favor of tabling House Bill 1412, you'll be pressing the green button. If you're opposed, you'll be pressing the red button. 
and the voting stations are open for 30 seconds. Have all members voted or earn a question to support the House will attend to the state of the vote? I have 202 in the affirmative, 136 in the negative. The motion to table passes.